Don't know what's going on here, but it looks like it's a near New Zealand plane. Is it on fire? I can't tell. Oh my God. Is it going to blow up? I oh know. I oh know. It's moving out of the fire. It's all right. There it is. Oh, it's free. Oh, what's that shit doing in the way? Oh man. Oh, there it is. Over there, over there, over there, over there. Over there. Well, you can't really see that. Not so good. Let's see if I can do a bit of riding with uh, the camera in hand. Might be a bit shaky, so please bear with me. So we're riding head on into traffic, which is never a good thing. But the point I'd like to make here is it's quicker on this side than the other side. And over here we have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Maybe a burn off of some kind. Oh, it's a bit of practice for the fire brigade. Now I get it. So it wasn't that airplane blowing up after all, just a bit of uh, practice for the boys. You see them there? Yeah. They've got to be prepared, those guys. You never know when you're going to need them. Yep. Oh, that fire looks nice. If you were a fire starter, that would get you going. Oh, look at this traffic. We're riding straight into it. Very dangerous. I could easily get fined for doing this. And this is the ride from Frankton to Five Mile, but now I'm going from Five Mile to Frankton. So it's all very exciting. Up here we transition from the road to the footpath. It may seem strange to you that we're right on the footpath, but they do that here for safety. Because there's a bit too much traffic. Those houses that you can see over there are the lower shot over. Beautiful place to have a house. Right on the airport path so you can see plenty of planes. And that's the shot over river down there. Goes for miles and miles and miles. Yeah, so here we are. This is the airport here. They have that fenced off so nobody can get in and uh, cause some problems. This is the Remarkables up there. I've shown you those a few times. Anyway, you'll probably uh, hear that it's quite noisy. All the buses and cars are driving past me. Just going at a nice leisurely pace today. I've got the bike on Eco, so don't have to pedal too much, but a little bit more than if I was on tour, tour mode. So you can see the fencing there for the airport. Keeps all the Filipinos out. See all the holes there on the ground? That's caused by rabbits. So Queenstown has a rabbit problem. So if you like to eat rabbits, come here. <laughs> now I've got some cones coming up. They require a bit more navigation. They're a little bit of an obstacle to riding smoothly. Uh, we'll see how we go here. Don't want to fall off the bike because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> there we are, negotiated that. Into some traffic again. I should be on the other side of the road. 
over here I might transition to the other side. I'm getting some strange looks from these cars. It's like they've never seen a cyclist before. Ah, my timing's all right for this one. Uh, let's try the next one. A lot of traffic. Very busy place this. So here's my transition. Gonna go into the other lane. Oh, look at that. We're into the other cycle lane. Woohoo! All right, that there that you can see in the background, that's Deer Park Heights. This is from a slightly different angle. And over there is Coronet Peak. But you can see it's got very little snow on it. It actually creates a little bit of a problem because the skiing is not so good at the moment. But at least I'm in the right lane. Okay. Up on our left here is... The Wakatipu High School. Doesn't look that impressive, but uh, it's all right. You can see those posts there, there for rugby. Not for soccer, rugby, it's a real game. There it is there, Wakatipu High School. And all its glory. It's a brand new school. Right, don't know what else I can show you. That's Holiday Inn over there. It's not really that exciting. The library. Don't know what they do at libraries these days. Uh, the Ramada, another hotel. And right beside that is Frank's Eatery. It's a little fish and chip shop, cafe, pizza place, burgers. Very nice. Okay, now we're coming up to the Franklin Shopping Centre. Uh, it's called Remarkables Park. There's quite a few decent shops in there. Including New World. New World's always good. And here we have Super Liquor. Uh, there's nothing super about it, it just says liquor. Uh, you better to get your liquor in the supermarket, it's much cheaper, same stuff. Yep, in New Zealand you can get their liquor from the supermarket. Okay, coming up to the home stretch now. And 
and uh, just got about uh, 300 meters to go then we'll be home we'll be laughing And when I say home, it's not really home. I'm just staying here temporarily with friends. Just deciding what I want to do. There's mum and the toddler. Alright, this is looking good. And that was a bike ride for a wee shopping trip. I had to pick something up, which I'll show you in a sec. This is back at the house. So if we go inside here, we'll be able to unpack our little goodies. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? This is a music speaker. We'll use it as a little bit of a prop here. Alexa, turn the radio up. Alexa, turn the radio up. Okay, Alexa's not behaving. So one of the things we bought was this, which is gravy. That's for our roast dinner tonight. Uh, I might even show you how we do a roast in New Zealand. But the main purpose was these. I got some uh, headsets for listening to movies. So let's have a look at what we got. 